Okay. So a few days ago, I shared with you an application that allows you to get dynamic island on your Android device. And some days later, we have a brand new application that can actually now be found on the Play Store. And this one actually works way better than the first one that I showed you. So now with this, the applications look way more fluid and you can also interact with it. And anytime that you get a notification or anything like that, it actually looks and feels way more smoother. So for instance, the new Dynamic Island actually allows you to interact with applications like, for instance, if I'm playing music in my music application and I close it, now you have this bubble at the top, which you can also interact with. So if you long press it, you actually get the music player and you can skip or do anything you want to do from here, which is really, really cool. And not just that, also, if you connect to your Bluetooth, you're going to get a pop-up. If you put in your charger, you're also going to get a pop-up. And on the iPhone, for instance, if you open the Maps application, it's actually going to give you the direction. So let's see if this one also works. When you start your Maps, this is actually going to give you the directions on the top. So I find it really, really cool. Just like the iPhones, if you have two applications running in the background, this is actually still gonna work. Let's open the music player and open the clock. Now you can see we have two bubbles at the top. One for the music, another one for the time-lapse. Trust me guys, I don't know how they did this so fast, but they've been able to implement this in a really nice way and looks and feels really smoother now. So if you wanna get this, all you have to do is go to the Play Store and look for Dynamic Sports. And that is it. You can easily download this and use it. Actually, I even have an update, which I'm probably gonna do now. So you can set the position of the spot right here and actually even select any application that you want to use this on. So basically, I think this is really, really cool application. I have all of the applications selected. If you wanted to try it out, this is one of the ways you can actually test it out and it looks and feels way smoother than the first one I shared, like I said. So the link is going to be in the description, download it if you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, I'm out.